Hey, I'm CNET's Ryan Christ. Today we're taking a look at the Netatmo Weather Station. Now this is a two-part device. You're gonna get an indoor and this smaller outdoor module, and both of them are gonna keep track of the environment. They're gonna take the temperature, monitor the humidity, they're even gonna measure things like CO2 levels and sound, and all that information is gonna go straight to the Netatmo app for Android and iOS devices, as well as the Netatmo website. The indoor module plugs in by a micro USB, while the outdoor module uses AAA batteries, two of them. You'll unscrew it and unscrew these and put those batteries in. This to me was kind of frustrating because you have to really unscrew these things and pull it out to get to the battery compartment. And it isn't totally clear on which way the batteries go. It's a little confusing. So if you do it wrong and try it out, you'll have to unscrew everything all over again to get those back in. Not a huge deal, but still not a perfect design. That said, in our test, this kit did pretty well. It was very accurate, it was responsive, and it told us what we wanted to know. The app is very clean and fun to play with, especially on iPads or other tablets where you get a little more real estate on the screen to play with. It's easy to use and it's got a lot of functionality packed into it. Another cool thing about this device is that it has a really comprehensive IFT channel. So all that information that you're taking in, the temperature, humidity, CO2 levels, noise, you'll be able to use those as triggers for your IFT recipes. If you want to have the switch in your bedroom turn on whenever it gets too warm and turn a fan on, you can do that with this system. Still, this isn't the only product that offers that level of environmental triggering capabilities. And at $179, I'm not sure that it's the most cost effective. We've tested out the Quirky and GE Spotter. That's a $50 device that can monitor sound and light and temperature and humidity and trigger all of that on IFT. And there's also the dedicated weather channel on IFT that uses the iOS weather app. And so you can trigger things based on the relative outdoor temperature and factors like that without having to buy an expensive kit like this. I'll confess I'm not much of a weather geek. I've never really tracked the CO2 levels in my home or worried about the UV index outside. And if you're not that type of person either, I don't know that the Netatmo weather station will get you there. It's not gonna build a sudden interest in those things. And after a while, it might actually become boring. But if you do have an interest in weather, if you find it fascinating, or if you have a greenhouse or a wine cellar, some place that you need to keep tabs on, I think the Netatmo could work really well. It's an easy to use product that worked well in our test, gave accurate readings, and I like the app. The app is pretty and fun to play with. I can't say that I would rush out to buy one, but I'm not gonna say that doesn't mean that you shouldn't. For CNET, I'm Ryan Christ.